What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension review for you. So this week's extension is one that I've been interested in because it kind of fits with what I do for my day job because I am an estimator, so I was really excited to go check it out. This extension allows you to create cost estimates directly inside your SketchUp model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plug in name, estimator, plug in developer, John Brock. How much does it cost? $149. However, it does come with a 14 day free trial, so I'd recommend you go ahead and try it out. Where do you get it? You can download it by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash estimator. Please note this is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will receive a commission. Tool functions. This extension basically gives you four ways to add costs into an estimate. You can associate costs with things like components, either as a per object cost or as a calculated cost based on the attributes of your object. For example, if you were to create a solid foundation wall and then look in your entity info, you can see that it gives you a volume. You can adjust your unit cost to calculate a total cost for your object, including labor, waste, and tax based on that volume. You can also assign objects to a layer and associate costs with them that way. You can associate costs to materials. So if you add something like a wood floor material, you can assign a unit cost to that material, which will then calculate a total based on the overall square footage. There's also a tab for quotes. So if you were to get a quote from a subcontractor, like if you got a quote for a window package, you could plug that in as a lump sum. Or you could also use this to plug things like general conditions in order to make your estimate more complete. You can assign your different items to different codes, allowing you to or organize your estimate by code. You can also include margin on top of your estimate as well. Once you've done all of that, you can input all of your project information and export a complete estimate both as an HTML report, as well as a CSV report that you can then import into an Excel file. All in all, this extension has some interesting functions that allow you to create estimates in SketchUp. At the moment, it's probably a little better for smaller projects, but there's still some functions in here that are really useful. I'd recommend at least downloading and installing the trial and giving it a try to see if you like it. That's where we're gonna wrap up this extension overview. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Um, have you ever wanted to create cost estimates for your SketchUp model before? Um, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. I've got a link to Estimator down below that you can click on to download the free trial. Remember that is a 14 day free trial. And like I said before, that is an affiliate link. So if you really like this extension and you're not purchasing it, I will receive a commission. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.